Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, today I'm going to be working on something grungy, which um, I'm following Tammy at um, Lou Fru Fru Studios and I'll put a link in there so you can go check hers out. And she had used an old envelope to make this piece of ephemera and I didn't have any vintage envelopes I don't think I have any, but I do have my parents and I have about a hundred of them. So there is no need to keep all of these. So I took one that I really liked as far as I've scanned them, but these are the originals because I love how this image here, uh, she had stationery and, and she had her own name uh, printed on there. Probably her sister got it for or something like that because her sisters were, oh, at least, well, they were married actually when she was about eight years old. So, um, yeah, they were about 10 years older than she was. So they were kind of like her caregiver in a sense. So what I'm going to do is on the um, spring journal that I'm working on, this one with all the napkins on the pages. Hopefully it's gonna turn out to be cool, I don't know. But I took this page here, just any page, and I took some coffee dyed paper because um, this is not real sturdy. Um, you know, it's not, the paper is not that um, sturdy. So, I think I'm going to glue this here on this side, and then we'll leave this open, and it'll be like two journal pages in one, if you see what, and then this will be, um, yeah, this will be where I'm going to put the envelope. So, I'm trying to think of what I'm doing, because I really had not pre-planned, um, can't find the glue stick. I hadn't really pre-planned what I was planning to make. You know, it's because you don't have the same things that the, the other person who you're following has. So it does make it kind of difficult to get it all ready, in other words. And I don't think, um, she's called this her Grunge Wednesday, but I don't think it's real grungy, actually. That's why I decided to do it in this journal. I'm trying to get that kind of on the seam there. My paper is very wrinkly. Um, my granddaughter uh, cleaned my desk. No, I can't. That's okay. I am going to clean my desk. I am, I'm going to get rid of I don't know where to put it. I mean, I don't want to get rid of the things because I need them every now and then. Like here I have all my, you know, some of my um, wax stamps. Well, I haven't done wax stamps in months. Uh, so they don't need to be there, which is causing less space for other things that I do use. It's just that something gets sat someplace and when you're using it and it never gets moved back or out of the way. Well, it's not very good gluing, but I can come back and fix it if it needs it. All right. This is just um, coffee dyed parchment paper. So that's what I'm planning to do is when I coffee dye, I did coffee dye, dye the 32 pound uh, premium paper. Um, it looks okay, but I prefer this over that for coffee dyeing. Okay, so she was able to, well, she had a larger envelope, so she used both sides of her uh, pages. And I don't have a large, um, very large envelope. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use this as a center page, but I'm going to make a tuck on each side because she had two pockets up here. Well, it would be really tiny little cards if I use that. So let me put this aside for a minute because I'm going to open this up. 
because we don't need this back part on here. It's just going to be, um, so I'm not going to lose any of the writing on the envelope. Yeah, my mom wrote to my dad every single day. Um, hmm. Oh, she opens it from the side. That's why. Well, I kind of wanted to take the whole back off. Let's see. Just need to make this sturdier. it is from 1948. How many years is that? I don't know. Oh, it's like 50, no, like 75 years old. Okay, so I'm going to take this part off here. I think she's got in pencil 18, so this is probably letter 18. Because I noticed she has uh, has the pencil numbers on there on some of the other ones. Okay, so I'm going to just take some book page and glue that on to the back. So let me get a glue stick again. So I hope everybody's doing well. I am feeling more at a loss these last couple days. Like, what to do next? I just, I don't know. Like, I was trying to think of a tip earlier, and it's like, you know, if it just doesn't come to you, it doesn't, does it? Oh, well, let's just put it up here. I think it'll be sturdy enough without I don't want it to be cardstock because it's going to fold in the middle from one side to the other at least I think that's what I want to do I don't know I could let me think. It's just too long to go that way. You could do it like this and have just one tuck. Hmm. If I go like this, it's going to be bent in half right through the name. Plus, it's going to have a signature going through it. Well, no, it doesn't have to have a signature because I can put this page anywhere. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, yeah, no, because then half of the page, half of it be on. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna think about this. Um, all right, if I do it this way. It has to be a signature page. It has to be in the middle if I'm going to do it. Okay, so. That's kind of blah, isn't it? Um, I sure don't want to waste it. That's my, that's my issue right here because um, I don't know. What do you guys think? 
I need some help. It's going to have to be a middle page. Okay, well, let me put, I want to put a little ink around this so it's got a little definition. And I don't want it to be very strong. I'm going to use this um, frayed burlap. Page. It doesn't look that dark, but then it looks dark. But I've got to order, order some... From, uh, what do I call that? I never can remember the name of the ink I use. I don't know why. Should I glue that down or should I just leave it like that? It kind of looks more real that way. Okay. Now, um, leave that out in case I need that again. So I decided I was going to use this napkin, and I'm going to put that here on the corner, but I don't think I'm going to use the whole napkin. Let me get my water. Yeah, everything is in a different location. Ouch. These are my... See, I was trying to get something that looks nice with that stamp. So. Mm. I don't know if there's any water in it, so I'll just get some out of my little water thingy. Was the one that somebody sent me. I don't maybe it was Lisa, I guess. All right, so I could leave some of that leaf. I don't want that straight edge up there. Do I? Whoops. A little much. Too much. Okay. okay. Um. Now let's see, she used like Mod Podge, but I don't want to wait for it to dry. So I'll just use glue stick. Let me see here, maybe I can just put the glue stick around here. Cover. I'm hoping that some of it will sh still show through. Yeah, I think it will. Well, so much for that little piece of paper, huh? It's hidden now. I wonder if I want to just round that off to the back. That look kind of nice. I mean, you won't be able to see it, but the edge looks nice, rounded. <sighs> 
So, how's everybody's weather out there? I haven't looked at the forecast except for here, which is just, it's just chilly. I don't know if it's how cold it is. All right, so that looks nice. I like that. Okay, and so that is going to be, um, to glue it down somewhere to make it a tuck, don't I? I guess I'll have to glue it here down at the bottom. That'll work. Okay, I'll, that way I'll know where to put it when I do. Okay, so um, now I'm going to make tags to go in there. And I found this, um, see that'll determine how, how tall I want the tag. And I found these two pieces that are coffee dyed. It's, let's see, it's, That's going to be covered. So let me cut this one down to match. Ish. All right. So probably could make these a little bit shorter. Cut them down just a tad. And this one, it's not that that much off, but it's enough to cause it to look off. Isn't that funny? What are these? Seven, seven inches. I'm going to make it six and a half. Round about there. Okay. So, set that up there. And then, for some reason, I can't remember exactly what she did. Um,. So the back is already ready to co uh, to write on. I don't have to put a back on it. So I'm going to take this one and for some reason I think um, now she must have made a whole tag. Oh, I don't know. See, I can't get all this in. I can't get the whole thing. Let's see. I could do it like that. tag a little bit smaller even. I could cut these at a, a tag, but I don't know if that would look nice. All right, Oops. glue here. Oh, I'm going to 
the wrong direction. No wonder. I'm like, why is that not working? Oh, gosh. It's too late in the day, I guess. Hold on, it's just not right over here. I hope this paper is not crooked. It shouldn't be. I forgot to put this on the edge. The glue stick doesn't even last. straight of lines she wrote. I printed off a couple of the pictures from uh, Joy Cardmaker's 40 um, portraits. Thought I might use those. So that can be tucked into that side. And then this one, I'll just take another piece of letter. I think this would probably work. Yep. And that's, um, I wanted to make sure I had the word darling. This one says, my dearest darling. My darling. Um, yeah, either one would work. She's telling my dad here that um, she's telling my dad in this one that her mom's name, my grandmother's name was Dovey, and um, she was saying that her mom's real name, her, so my dad's mother's name was Grace. And and then my mom tells my dad in this letter that her mom's name is Grace, too. She said, but everybody called her Dubby. Well, there is, I want to, let me see if I can get that kind of straight off the top up there. Uh, there is no record of my grandmother being named Grace. So I don't know where she got that. But she's told me that for years. So, but it's not on her birth certificate. Well, I don't know if I've seen her birth certificate. Uh, she's not on any of the genealogy sites as Grace. It's, all, it's always been Dubby. Of course, you know, back then, um, when the census came around, they just used the names that they're familiar with. They didn't use necessarily their right names. My uncle, his name was Earl, <laughs> an awful name, but his name was Earl, and they everybody called him Earl all of his life and then he went in the military and he had to have his birth certificate and he found out his name was Joseph. This is from the same mother that calls herself Grace. Um, his middle name was Earl. Joseph Earl. I just took the lid off. Oh, there it is. I want my wipes to dry out. All right. That's kind of boring. Let's see, what can we do? Um, okay, so that can go on one side and this can go on the other side. I can sew around these, that'll add a little bit. Um, I know there's something else I need. Oh, I know what I need. I need to 
put some vellum on this pot on down here. Where's the vellum I brought in here? Please tell me I brought it. Oh. Hold on, I oh no, here it is. All right. So what she did at the end of her pockets. She put a piece of vellum, the end of the tag, I mean, which becomes a pocket once I get this on there. That way you can still see the letter through the pocket. Okay, two of those. Let's see, how long is that? Almost two inches. bigger than that. I must have... All right. <laughs> okay, so now I've got to Just gonna fold it around like that. Sorry, I'm just concentrating, I guess. I'm thinking about, trying to think about what it is she did next. I watched the video two times, but, and I did skip one of her videos um, because it was so, um, I mean, it was cool, but it was, it was made to go with the journal she was making, and I didn't want to try to, Figure out how to duplicate it is basically what I'm trying to say. I'm going to put a little punch in here just
끊을 거예요. have my art glitter glue in here at the moment. I am making a great I'm making this like dollhouse thing. Not a dollhouse, but it's called um, a book nook. So it's like a little, I think I might have mentioned it to you guys. And I was going to show it to you, but I'm going to wait till I get a little bit more done. Because right now, yesterday, every time I moved it, it would fall apart. And I didn't want to glue anything until I knew for sure that it was going to hold. Paper. I don't know why I was trying to glue that. So you can still write on the back of this card, even though there's a pocket glued on it. Or you could actually put a piece of paper over the whole bottom cover this up and maybe I'll do that when I stitch around it because I like them to be pretty stable anyways all right so let's ink around these I just had a book page I'm going to take some, because that ink pad is pretty juicy compared to my, what is it called, timber something? Gathered twigs. <laughs> some to do with trees. Okay. I could round these corners up here. That might look nice. decide we wanted to put it on the book page? I think so. Okay. So that's going to go on that side and that's going on that side. So I need to glue this bottom down. I wanted to put something here first. Just to uh, rips um, weird <laughs> All right. I just kind of wanted to put something over here to offset it a little and it's like too short to go
a little bit. I should get my um, the tea dye one out. You know, it, it's not very dark. I mean, that's not uh, dark. But if I put it on full force, it would be See this little thing I use, I mean, nobody's really asked me so much, too much about it, but uh, it's what um, uh, what's her first name? At Bohemian Bohemian Crafting. Can't think of her first name. Eva. She uses. And what I like about it is I never have to change the pad because it doesn't crumble or fall apart. And it um, it doesn't soak up very much ink. It's it's really very right there on the edge when you when you put that in there. So really don't need hardly any ink. Okay. And then I thought, well, I might as well put this on this side. If I can make it look decent. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, okay. Thought I was running out of time. Well, I will be. I always run out of time. Just can't um, get it all done, seems like. All right, so. Look at these again here. That goes there. And that goes there. And that's kind of where I need something. But then again, I'm going to be putting stuff in those pockets. So. I just wonder, do I need to glue it down here a little bit. I'm going to fold it in half. Ooh, scary. This book page is very brittle. Okay. So I think I'll just add a little bit of glue here. And down at the bottom. Oh, my goodness, that's not straight. Okay.
All right, so now I need something to put in these pockets. Um, I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way a bit. So I could put in a photograph. I don't know, these are not very big. And if I was to pick out my mom and dad, it would be my mom's hair was very much like that. Um I don't know if I want to put, this one has stars behind it, so it's kind of cool. Tim Holtz has one photograph, too, that has two ladies with the stars behind it, but that isn't like a love story. It's just two ladies. same thing. Mm. I got glue up there. Oh well, I'll work on it later. Did I glue that there? I didn't think I did. Huh. Okay. Um... Let me just check my little ephemera holder here. Oh, let's see. These, yeah, they're too big. And they're too old. They're not 40-ish. So I put these um, no, this is not, they're too big. I, I put these in randomly. I didn't um, sort <laughs> at all. Those are all kids. Those are my mom's recipe. No, they're my grandmother's recipes, but... Um, tag in there. Yeah. It's not... Still have a lot more to put in here, but hmm. yeah, these are all too big. I mean, I could cut it down. Yeah, I like this showing. I don't really want to cover that up. That's why these are kind of cool. Because they don't really cover it up. So, let's do that in there. And then maybe uh, one like this over here. Um, let's see how this red rose one looks I like that I gotta figure out what I do with that pocket uh, I like that one Color. 
I was thinking I could put one behind. These are sewn already, but I don't have that. I don't want that color, but I can sew around these also. These are from uh, Pink Monarch Prints. I love them because they're just the right size. Just really perfect size. I have a bunch printed. All right, let's see how. So what I was thinking is putting one back here like that. And then this in front of that, that kind of fills that page. And then this one, I'm gonna cut down. Let's cut it down. Um, Oh my goodness, oh, there it is. I don't really have that much like navy blue on here, but it's okay. Oh, there it is. It's like, where's the mark? Okay, and I think this is like a quarter of an inch rounded. I'm going to sew around these, you guys, also. And, um, okay, so that one goes in there. I do have, there we go. Here's a, this is a copy. It was in my mom's stuff. It says, To Rosie, love George, I don't know, Danko or Dan Danka, something like that. So she probably wrote him letters. I could stick something like that in there, but it really doesn't show at all. Hmm. Neither does that. Okay. Well, um, I think I'll stick him in there. What the heck? That's kind of, it's part of their, her life there. I don't know if my dad knew in about, about it. But. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's see, what time is it? Okay, I mean, I'm happy with the look. I may uh, go around and I'll sew around those for sure, the tags. And um, I do like the tall tag in the back. I could put another tall tag in the back. Yeah, that's cute. Just like a little bit like that. All right, so that's going to fold up like that. I hope it's going to work. I'm probably going to have to go in and reinforce all these edges. I don't know. That's why I put that um, in this one here because I think that'll help pages to be sturdier. I need more writing spots. Now these are all pages I took out of a book to make a a um, what do you call it? Altered book. Except I took all the pages out and I'm going to sew them back in in signatures. Um, let's see what else. What was I going to do? I did have these two cards too, but I don't think... That one might look good there. Huh.
I love these little cards that I have. These here. I don't know if I want to do make them again because I need more. But they look kind of cute in there, don't they? All right, I'm gonna leave these in here too, and here, and then see what what choice I decide what I decide to do. I don't know if that's all too much with two of them. Maybe I'll save that one to go somewhere else. Okay, so that's it. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I kind of want to work on this now. I've got all kinds of stuff in here that I've been... Uh, Lisa sent me all this lace, and I'm going to use this in here. And even this lace like that will stabilize these um, pages. You know, because fabric is pretty good about, you know, making them stable. So I may add that. And... Um, so the only other thing that I worked on, which I haven't shared, is I've been working on the, my, I'm talking a, a, away from you, my planner, and <laughs> so this is it. I did this um, open um, spine, like that, and I used... Um, book pages. I took them out of a book and I used the covers here and I just glued this lace here to, to hold these all together and so far so good. It's just it's a very flimsy it's real flimsy because I didn't use good thread. I used like embroidery floss or pearl cotton and I should have you know used a better thread but it's okay for me. I mean I'm this is just going to be my my little thing. So I think it'll get sturdier once um, more stuff is in it. But I put 12 in, so I have enough for 12 months. So that's what I was working on, too. And um, I get that done so I can make notes when I need to. All right, that's it. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.